Hey, what's up? Good morning, everyone. My life's been a little bit kind of crazy the last few days. Upstairs, my neighbor is Andre Blatch. He's, uh, he used to play center for the Brooklyn Nets and the Washington Wizards. He moved in a couple weeks ago. He started doing some renovations and they were doing construction. I guess they burst a pipe and their shit flooded my entire condo unit. So my apartment is totally fucked. Nothing I can do about it. There's no use in complaining. Let insurance take care of everything. It's going to be a six month uh, repair job it looks like. But in the meanwhile, I'm going to keep making YouTube videos and I've got so many boxes and I wasn't going to pick up this drop at all. It was the Gucci Adidas collab. It just wasn't something that was on my radar, but I saw it in the comments. A couple people DM me where they're like, hey, are you going to do an unboxing for the Adidas Gucci? So ask and you shall receive. I got a whole bunch of shit. I think like 10K worth of the Gucci Adidas stuff. Mainly for April because I think she looks much better in Gucci than I do. I just got a nice little... I'll show you guys. You're about to, you're about to see it. Oh yeah, say hi to Birdie. She's crying. Hey, you stopped crying as soon as I said you were crying. Hi, you ready to do some unboxing? Since our room is totally fucked, we made a permanent like sleepover situation in our living room. So we are now sleeping like this. Isn't that crazy? Just been trying to make the best of it. Stella really likes it, so does April, so do I. Just kind of every night, come home after work, lay down in our bed, watch some TV. Life's good. Ooh, she just took a big old dookie. Did you take a big old dookie? Woo! Does anyone else have a six-year-old and a newborn? It's a lot to deal with, you know, if you, especially if you have to work. So you get stressed out at work, then you come home. Obviously you want to see your kid, so that's good, but I got one that's in school, so we got to make sure she's ready for school. And then I got this one who's just born. You got to just make sure she stays alive, which is actually not as, dis it's not as difficult as you would think, keeping a baby alive, but still it does require significant responsibility. And I've been just trying to have this mindset of like, not like, oh, I got to do this, and I got to do this at work, and I got to do this at home, and I got to do this for the baby, and this for Stella, and this for April. Because I think I was kind of falling into that mindset, and like kind of complaining, whining, feeling sorry for myself, you know, and then I just, you know, got my top G mentality right, and just like, you know what? These are all amazing things. I'm going to miss bottle feeding birdie one day like I miss bottle feeding Stella so instead of thinking about like oh I gotta feed the kid it's like enjoy these moments because they are very fleeting I don't do diapers often but I'll figure I'll do it right now so when birdie sees this in a few years she'll know that hey that's the guy that used to do my diapers the diapers yeah you can do it <laughs> for the record he's done a few I don't want to get poop in the wrong crevice. So I was going through all the boxes, right? To find all this Adidas and Adidas Gucci stuff. And I'm like, this is weird. Lillian, that's not me. That's not my wife's thing. Looks like she's not home. I'm just gonna leave that right by the door. Lillian is extremely sweet. Uh, her daughter bought her a, an apartment here and she's retired. And she's just extremely nice to me in April, my family. I really appreciate her as a neighbor. So April reminded me that Lillian is always asking me if I can donate my my seed to her daughter because her daughter is a lesbian and she's married and they're trying to have children and they've been looking for a donor and Lillian has been just like badgering her daughter telling her hey you need to get the donor from my neighbor Eddie and because he makes beautiful babies and I was like man that is the sweetest compliment I've ever gotten I do make beautiful babies so how much more classic can you get than a red adidas tracksuit look at that that's freaking adorable this is for birdie I think there's a difference between the tracksuits that have like the piping right here and opposed to the ones that don't but it's on sale for like 40% at Dicks, I think. I wonder if these are going to be too big. 
kind of Ikea vibes. And I like how this track can it's like the colorways are opposite instead of the same. And let's see, these are weird though, I don't understand this. I don't think I've had any of these like, what is this? Oh yes, and then these joggers are, they're like pleated on the front right here. Wow, this is a really cool colorway. I don't think I'd ever wear a colorway like this normally. I wonder how often I'll wear this track suit. It looks very Ikea, right? This thing is weird. Yeah, I think maybe separate works better. It's a little bit too much. The color is crazy together. <laughs> Bruce Lee? Oh no, he's got yellow and black. Yellow and black would be dope. I would definitely buy that color. But away. it looks it's got that vibe. Hmm, I even have Bruce Lee's haircut right yeah. now. <laughs> oh yeah. This is so much cuter. Yeah, this feels good. I like it. And you can kind of wear this matchy-matchy because it's not so crazy, the colors. You look ready for Penn State. I do. This is so cute. What could this be? 12K? Look at this cute, tiny shoe box. This is adorable. There we go. So Stella is going back to school. Or she's already started first grade, you guys. My kid's in first grade. And she goes to a private school and they have this rule where your shoe has to be like one color, white or black or brown, I think. So I've been in love with the Forum 84s and it's a very cool retro looking shoe. It's actually a basketball shoe. It was a high top, very, very popular shoe to wear in the 80s and 90s. And it's, been, it's kind of made a comeback. Okay, these are a seven, so these must be for April. Oh, yes. I got this to match your Adidas Gucci tracksuit because it looked red in the catalog. I've been in love with this shoe. Four I'm 84, so mine is red. Got this retro vibe to it. Love the cream laces. Again, I got these for Stella. I think gray is also permitted. I'm not sure if these are going to fly, but I don't see why not. It's kind of like one color. What a sexy color. Triple white is probably one of my favorite Yeezys. It's probably the one I wear the most. I think this bone color is just so sexy. I'm really into earth tones right now. You know, fear of God. And what's more earthy than bone? Or natural than bone? Look at this box. <laughs> wow, look at these boxes. They're so cool. Okay. Tote April loves tote bags. I have a big one, so this is a good life. Small one? Everyday one. Yeah, that's great. That is so cool. All right, let's start with these regular boxes. Ah, we'll start with mine. I went for stuff that was really classic. I didn't want any of the as as asymmetrical shit. Clean khaki shorts. I bought these in a small. I wear a size 32. So this is actually the reason why I even went on a hunt for more track suits. Is I found stuff for April at Adidas, at Adidas Gucci, but I couldn't find anything for myself. So these are the shorts in red. That's why I got all those red um, jumpsuits for the rest of the family. But it's made out of wool. You can see closely. Very finely made. Almost like crocheted. Look at the shape on these. These are beautiful. You got a nice butt, nice juicy thighs gonna look good on you. Or if you got really skinny thighs, it's gonna drape well and give you a nice silhouette. Got that kind of 70s lifeguard vibes to them. I picked this out for April. I think she looks good. This is also knit. It's polo. Oh, it's actually green. I thought it was blue. It's green and red. It's gonna look good with the shorts. It's gonna look good with jeans. It's gonna look good with anything. I tried to pick the best pieces, the most classic ones from the drop. Oh my God, look at the packaging on that. Beautiful dust bag to match the shoebox color. Double bag too? Wow. Gotta get Gucci slides. If you're gonna if you're gonna do a collab with Gucci, you gotta make slides and you definitely gotta pick these up. You can kind of see if you look closely the interlocking G. And it's kind of like this like bathrobe texture, towel texture to it. Terry cloth. Terry cloth. And this is uh oh, I think this is leather. The truffle is actually made out of leather. Wow, very finely made again here. It's gonna look good. 
Got this hoodie in a medium. You know, I've been wearing a lot of oversized, but it looked like from this drop that I thought I'd, I'd pull it off better if it was more fitted and more preppy looking. That's the vibe I got from the catalog. I'm a sucker for red and blue too. This is the grand finale right here. Like, if anything caught my eye, not many things did. I had to really dig to find stuff I wanted to buy from this drop. But this one immediately caught my eye, and I had to get this for you. And we come back to the Royal Tenenbaums. The red Adidas tracksuit, to me, is one of the most iconic pieces of fashion that you can have in your closet. And you should always have it. It's a staple. It's a classic. Everybody looks good in red. Everybody looks good in an Adidas tracksuit, so get a red one. And when I saw this knit one, I had to pick it up for April. This is gonna look good with the shorts, it's gonna look good with the polo, it's gonna look good, look good with the sandals, the slides. Yeah, we got it in a, in a medium. It's a very cool shape. Kind of balloons out. You look great, I love it. It's so cute. Would you get medium on the bottom, medium on the top? Yeah, medium's perfect. Oops, sorry. Whoa. You look so good. It, it, I love the way it just drapes. Mm -hmm. If you look right here, it's kind of a weird collar right here. It kind of gives me some like Ralph Lauren polo vibes, like the colorway, mm -hmm. but Gucci. But Gucci. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna copy my wife here. Yes, there was a lot of stuff I just completely ignored because it was too crazy. Whether it was because it was asymmetrical or the design was just like really out there, wasn't into it. So I looked for like kind of just the clean pieces, the minimalist stuff, um, the classic stuff that I feel that I felt that I'd be able to wear today, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, give it to my kids, whatever. So it would still look dope. It was kind of hard to sift through all the stuff just to find those select pieces. But the pieces that we got, everything that I, I, everything that I purchased for myself and for Abe, I like them. Um, and you can kind of see that they all have a similar vibe to them all. You know, nothing crazy out there, uh, classic fits, and something that you can mix and match with anything. It doesn't have to be Adidas Gucci. Uh, when I wear clothes, I want to be able to kind of put them together with other pieces that I have. So, all in all, everything, I mean, it's Gucci. So, you know you're going to get high quality clothing, period. Uh, it's Gucci at the end of the day. My favorite piece is the red track suit, the jacket in particular. I love the shorts and I love the jacket. That, that two-piece suit for April, I mean, I think anybody is going to look good in it. And if... You're advertising an Adidas Gucci drop. That is the piece that I would put at the forefront because I think it's it's the most elegant, it's the most classic, it's the most stylish. And they put it together so well because they changed the silhouette, they changed the texture, the fabric, they made it high end, but they still made it familiar to everyone who loves Adidas Originals. So shout out to Adidas and Gucci for an amazing collab. I appreciate everyone from watch, for watching. Thanks for just hanging out with me and my family on this Sunday afternoon. I really appreciate it. Channel's blowing up. So hit that subscribe button, hit the like, drop a comment. Tell me what you want to see. Uh, I wasn't going to do this Adidas Gucci unboxing, but someone asked in the comments. So I was like, fuck it, let's do it. All right, so if there's anything you guys want to see, let me know. Because I don't really keep up with the drops like that. Until someone tells me or I find out in the news, I won't know. So if you know something's coming up, let me know and I'll take a look at it and make sure I pick up some stuff. Thanks so much. Hmm? Whoa, Bert, you look good. You guys look like you're ready for some tea class. Everything so much stuff. April is amazing. All right, guys, so we are at Claremont campus of Emory University, which is student housing. This is where I used to live, and April used to live one floor above me. After class, I'd go upstairs, I'd knock on her door, bang, 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 bang. Hey, can you make me some macaroni and cheese? And she would make me macaroni and cheese. She makes me macaroni and cheese to this day, actually. That's where I live. This is Claremont Tower. So I used to live in this building. You'll notice that this building is particularly old compared to the rest of the campus, which is 
much newer. Daddy used to eat in here and get buffalo cheese fries. The best buffalo cheese fries right in there.